when you pray, what do you pray for? Okay, many times when I pray, I just pray a prayer of thankfulness, just thank him for everything good in my life, things that he's done in the world, for even for things that haven't yet happened in my life. In and where? I always ask him, no matter I want to be content, no matter what space I'm in, that's very important to be content because you can have so much money and you're still not content. So I, that thing I've always asked for, that I want to be content in whatever state I'm in. You know, you know why I'm asking yeah, you the question? To, to you know why I'm asking you the question? I'm a hard person when it comes to doing the work. I'm very hard and I'm, and I'm, I'm ruthless, but I'm soft. That's why I'm asking you is because I'm going to be ruthless with you in a minute or two. No, that's fine. But it's not personal. No, no, no. So tell me again, on, on your one hand, why do you pray? What are you praying for? On one said, hand, I don't want stories. No, 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 no. As I said, many times I want to be able to quote them back. No, that's fine. Obviously, yeah. many times you pray, you know, you pray for different things. But I try, I'm being honest with you. I'm just trying to on to, points, I'm doing points, it. I'm points. doing it. I, I can't do it. I can't do it the way how you know, but I'm not going to tell you my entire fire. I'm just giving you bullet points. Bullet I'm points I, is what I, I want. Don't shoot say. me, though. No, I'm not shooting. <laughs> Give me the bullet points. But one, I try not to. I pray for milk. One. No. Two. No, I pray no. for cheese. Okay. Three. Eggs and okay. that's what I want. Giving thanks always. Giving thanks one. Always. It's one. Very important to be content. Yeah, yeah, I know I said it. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two. I pray for people all over the world. I do it a lot. I do it. I do it. Yeah, I do I'm it. I'm listening to that. It's yeah, just like not true, but I do it though. I do I, it. I'm I not arguing. Okay. You just loaded me with a more, one more question. Okay, I, do it. I like the answer. Three. Okay. That's three. I do it. Go on. Next one. To help me with stuff in my life. All right. I'm gonna shut you down just for a bit but you've really done a good job i think she deserves some some real applause on on the spiritual level yeah, i'm out pointed out but let's let's see how we should pray in the book of matthew i think the, 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 the is it matthew in it the, the the disciples came to messiah and said is it, them ask him teach us how to pray in it can you slowly recite it for us now here how we should pray huh You've done a good job, and we can't, no one putting you down. Don't even feel any bad or anything. This, this is not, um, yes, I'm validating you. No, I'm nobody for that, yes? Yeah? Yeah? So you're up, you're up as you are, yeah? 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 You see, I don't remember where scripture is, but I know it's there. I'm like that as well. So I got my brothers and sisters sometimes to remember where it is. Because that's more important than chapter, because that's what people do today. Just give me chapter this, chapter, chapter verse, that, and yeah. then it becomes yeah. a chapter, yes, a chapter yeah. war. It don't become understanding that's anymore. That's a new style of it. Right. Find it? Slowly and loud, huh? Matthew chapter 6, 7, verse 8. A little louder. It's a dear four. Do not be like them. For your father... <laughs> Let your name be called as the holy. Hold on. Where did he start again? No, no, let your, no, let your no, name be called as. No, no, no. Let how I feel about you no, be called Let your name be holy. Let what I think about you be holy. Let your name be holy. Let your name be holy. Your name first is the name. Are we are we making something clear? That's the first thing. Let your name be set apart. Yes, let your name be holy means let it be set apart. Let there be no no what do you call it again? When it's mixed up with somebody else's religion. We need to know this is yours. Don't mix your password with your boyfriend's password. Let it be so clear when it's seen. Oh, this 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 black people here. This is black people right here. They're not white people. These are Israelites, they're not Christians. Let your name be what? Let it be set apart. Let your let your kingdom come. Let your what come? Let your kingdom come. Are you hearing the bullet points? First, let your name. Somebody get some paper for us. <laughs> no, it's very important. He's an our father prior. Say again? You see, I do that every time before I pray, sister, I always say no, that. Wait, 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 and then I go into it. Sister, I beg you. Sister, I beg you. Sister, I beg you. There's something I'm going to explain. Okay. Don't forget what I said. This is not about putting you down. Because we're all down. All of us are down. Ain't nobody here better than nobody. Even when Yeshaya was here, when the son himself was down, 
here, it was like me and this brother and this brother. He said, we ain't no different. You understand? So he said, let thy name, oh, pen again, let your name be holy, yeah? Be holy, all right? That's the first thing we should pray for. Now just hold it there. How many people pray for that? Let your name be holy. You say when you start your prayer in the morning or evening or night, pray first for his name to be what? Holy. Set apart. Set apart. I mean, that's the first thing. Not how you are. I mean, you understand what I'm saying? So the name is important. Go on. Let your reign come. Let your kingdom come. Let your what come? Let your kingdom come. Your religion come. Hold on again. Let your words come. Your kingdom. Let your kingdom come. I'm breaking it down because this is the breakdown of the prayer. We are used to just reciting the prayer without understanding why the Creator is saying the prayer. And that's what the Muslims do. I, go, I, I need to go and pray. I need to go and pray. And they just oh, go and pray. What are they praying about? Why is the prayer so long? Why is nothing happening after the prayer? Huh? Sister, 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 it's not you I'm talking about. Sustain I, 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 I. The I is not in our book. The book contains we. The book says, start again. He says, when what? Hear the thing. Matthew 8. Hear the thing. Verse 8. Yeah. It, it said, it said, therefore. Therefore. Do not be like them. Don't be like them. For your heavenly father, for your father, your father know your need. He know your need. Is he Do talking only about Sister no, Anita? No. No, he's talking about a whole range of us. Don't worry about I. Do it. I do it. It's not about the I. It's about we. But we'll see who the we are. Read on. Your, your father know what you want before you before you ask him. Before you even ask, he knows. This is this is the way. This is the way you should pray. You should pray. Our Father. Our what? Our Father. Our Kaaba. Our Father. Our Jesus. Our Father. Our religion. Our Father. Our Muhammad. Our Father. Our Father. Our father. Who? Where is he? Who is in the Shabbat? In the Outside the Kaaba. In the heaven. In the Catholic Church. In the heaven. He's the Pope. In the heaven. He's in Christianity. In the heaven. The Church of England. In the heaven. He's in the heaven. Where is heaven? We'll show you in a minute. Hold on. Read on. Let your name be set apart. Let your what? Your name be holy. Let your attributes be holy. Be holy. Your 99 names your be holy. Name be holy. The names we've named you be holy. Your name be holy. Let your name, your your name, your name according to you. Let it be holy. Go on. Let your kingdom come. Let your what? Let your kingdom come. And that can't be possible. Let your kingdom come. It's not possible. Let your kingdom come. We are in the United Kingdom Let already. Your kingdom come. Our two kingdoms can't exist in the same place Let at the same time. Come. No way. No me gucho. I had to say that. It's not possible. How can his kingdom come inside the United Bloody Kingdom? And somebody answer me. How can we pray the Lord's prayer? Inside the United Kingdom, you're telling the Queen you want somebody else's kingdom to come. You're mad. You're insane. No, seriously, you're insane. I don't understand. So, but the Creator does. I don't, but He does. We'll read on. Just hold on there. We're reading the book. I didn't ask you a question. We're reading the book. Read the book. No, you won't last three minutes when we have time for you. Watch him now, film him. When it's time for him to answer questions, he will last three minutes. Then he's gone. Read the book. Let your will be done. Let the man talk. Let what? Let your will be done. Now hear the thing, brothers. Hear the thing, brothers. Let what be done. Let your will be done. Now this is the number three at Earth. Okay. Now look at this. See the bullet points. Let your name be holy. I.e. Holy means what? Set apart. Set apart. So we're not mixed in with everything. Yeah? Don't mix rice with other grain. Separate them. Yeah? Let your kingdom do what? Come. Let it come. Can that happen inside the United Kingdom? They won't like it. Then number three. Let your will be done. Let 
speak louder. Let your will be done. Emphasize that again. Let your will be done. Here let at your earth. will. Let your will be done. Here on earth. Here on earth. As it is in the heaven. As it is in Mecca. In heaven. <laughs> in um, Bangladesh. In heaven. As it is in Buckingham in Palace. Heaven. Heaven. I must oh, be wrong. In heaven. Let's try in again. Heaven. As it is in Parliament. In heaven. Oh no, I must be wrong. As it is in the USA. In heaven. Let your will be done. Where? Here on earth. Here where? On earth. In Nigeria. On earth. Only in America. On earth. In Japan. On earth. Only in England. On earth. On the bloody earth. Let his will be done on earth. So what's going to happen to the will of the Bilderbergs? What's going to happen to the will of the United Nations? That's bullet points. His name, his kingdom, and his will. Before we go any further, anybody here care to tell me what the will of the Creator is? Because you say you pray, but this you don't pray for. Okay. Whatever is not what we want, it's what His will. And I'm telling you, He's already told us what He wants. Can you can you remind us what He wants? Moses, Ten Commandments. Sister, come on. I don't know. Whatever. You do. You do better at your job. You do better well, at your business. I just said that. I just said Moses. What he said was Moses. You're not telling me anything. You know, it's not enough. That's why we have the Lord's Prayer. Did you not understand why the Lord, our Messiah, had to take 12 people and school them, not school them, educate them for at least three years? Do you know why he had to do that? Read on. As this is heaven. As your will is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Oh no, start that again. Give us today our daily bread. Give us for the whole month. No, no today. Give us for the whole year. Today. today. Stack up my bank account. Today. Give us food over everywhere today. so we don't have no Tesco. Today. Give us food in Tesco, innit? Today. I'm going to ask the shopping. Today. Huh? <laughs> Just for today? Yes. I think tomorrow is there. No, today. For three days? Today. For five days? Today. Do you know what that means? When we ask him to give us food for only today. You worry about only what? Today. Only about today. Because right now all of us are worried about the future. So we're tied in to the slave master. When you're worried about the future of your existence, i.e. your food and your shelter, you're tied in to slavery, which makes you to negate the commandments that we're talking about right now. Because there's no way you can set the Creator apart when you're busy trying to please the work master. How can you do that? Read on. Daily food, right? Tight. And forgive us. I know, I know, I know. Huh? Hold on, two, min two minutes more. Tight two minutes. Two minutes. Go on, two minutes more. the man, the man. No, no, no. Hold on, wait, I was telling the man. Read on. You see, yeah, he's a lot of runaway. You need to do what I'm trying to take it out. Read on. Don't start with that. Read on. And forgive us of our debt. Forgive us what? Of our debt. Our what? Our debt, our sins. Our religious sins. Our debt, our sins. Forgive us our, our debts. Forgive us our debts as? As we forgive our debtors. As we always remind our debtors. As we forgive them. As we condemn them. As we forgive our debtors. As we jail them. As we forgive them. As we slam them up without as, hope. As we forgive them. Do we understand that? Read on. And do not lead us into, temp into trial. Lead us not into temptation, into trials. But, 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 but deliver us. Deliver us. From the wicked one. From the wicked one. Hold on now. Deliver who? Who is the us now? Us is people. <laughs> Who's going to be delivered? Is it all of us? Because if all of us are getting delivered, who is the wicked one then? Deliver us from evil. No, no, come on guys, don't, don't run off from me. Lucifer! If we are all being delivered, who then is the wicked one? Lucifer. Lucifer is. So, can somebody show me Lucifer right now? No, he's invisible. Invisible. But guess what um, Messiah did when he spoke to Peter? He said, Satan, get what? Get, behind get, behind get thee behind me. When Peter spoke to him, why did he say, Satan, get thee behind me? Peter was saying to him, you shall not surely die. You won't go to the cross. You won't die for our sins. 
But Christ came to do the will of who? The Father. Now that's the will you have to be doing. If you want to please the Father. You have to be doing the same will that made the Messiah tell his brother, Satan, get thee behind me. But who wants to do that? Everybody want to be a Christian because in Christianity, there's no demands on you. There's none. But Ty, I was going to ask you something. Sorry, I was going to ask something. When a man believes something, isn't it also party on his mentality on how he's going to believe whatever he's, he's taught to believe? Does your mentality have a strong part in saying as to what you're going to believe? Belief is, is dependent on culture. So your mentality has nothing to do with it? It has nothing to do with it at this point. Belief is dependent on culture and what you call education. But you, when we understand what we are, we all have what you call spirit. Spirit is like a SIM card inside a phone. Imagine that, a SIM card inside a phone. Imagine the phone, yeah? I can't even remember, right? Sister got phone here. Where's my phone gun anyway? Black and Decker. Anyway, I'll find it somehow. You have a phone there? Just in case. I can't remember where mine is. When you have a phone, yeah? This is what you are. You are a phone. This phone is your one locked or unlocked. <laughs> are you hearing the thing? Which one's yours? Which one's yours? It's locked. And I like that you're locked. We Israelites, we're locked. We set apart. We're holy. When you have a phone that's unlocked, it means it can take any spirit. You put a Lebara inside, it's all right. Put a virgin in, a what? A virgin inside. It's also all right. Put a Vodafone inside, it's still all right. That's not what we want, is it? Because it says, let us be holy. Let us be set apart. That's why they have some phones called locked. You can mess about with it. If it says it's Apple, it's Apple. You understand? So, am I answering the question or did I deviate? What was, what was the question again? Yeah, so I'm saying, in the culture, depends what you learn. It's dependent on your culture. That's why the Chinese are locked in their own culture of prosperity. So, your culture as well, it's like you become indoctrinated by whatever country you've grown up in. You, you, that culture becomes indoctrinated with inside you, doesn't it? So, you wherever you go, you're always going to have that culture. You are. Guess why the black people all over the earth is the, is the lowest in all socio-economic spheres of the, of the earth? It's because they know there's something locked inside us that they don't want to influence their society. When I say their society, I'm talking about global society. Because global society has to be run on a white platform. A white platform. That platform cannot cannot work with our spirit. It would it would derail their their platform. But we don't care that we also have our own platform that we shouldn't allow. One more thing, in a nutshell, how can you just put everything straight as the real the real um, paramount action we need to escape this? What is the real paramount it's in the action we need to do? It's in the first in the first line of our Lord's prayer. Let, let thy name be what? Holy. Holy. He says his people are what people? Or oh, holy people. Now if his name is holy. His people too need to be holy. Now, holy means set apart. His people need to be what? Holy. Which means being set apart. The Chinese are prosperous today. They're locked in there. They locked in themselves. They locked in. 60 years ago, they just locked away. They didn't want Christianity. They didn't want Islam. They wanted their own original thinking. We've been great before. That's because we were locked in, locked on. Now we, we're open. Let me read it. Read on. This, this, this is Devarim. This is um, Vicra. No, no, wait, 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 wait. This, this is Vicra 19. Leviticus 19, verse 1. He said, The Most I speak unto Moses. 
Speak to the children of Israel, speak to the congregation. Speak to the children of who? Of Israel. Of the whole world. Of Israel. Of England, France, of Israel. and Germany. Of Israel. And That's say, the end of it. And say unto them, be, be set up, be called on. Hold on again. Speak to the children of who? Of Israel. To be what? Be holy. Or to be what? Holy. Be holy. Mixed in. Be holy. To migrate. Be holy. To be refugees. Be holy. To be holy. So for I, the most I, that thy power is holy. He's what? He's holy. He's mixed in. He's holy. He's in every religion. He's holy. Islam, Jewish, and then Christianity. He's holy. He says he's holy. He's holy. Everybody, you have to run. He says he's holy. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Annie. Right next Sunday. Yeah. Sister Annie, to bless you. Thank you. Continue the continue the exposition. Thank you. You understand? He says for us to be holy. That's the problem I have with Islam. We're supposed to be part of your religion. And we never intended to be. That's why you had to colonize us. That's why I want your elders here to debate this debate. I'm calling Adnan to the debate table. I'm calling Mohammed and their young brothers to the debate table. I'm calling Jay Smith to the debate table. In fact, I'm calling the Roman Catholic Pope to the debate table. The time has come for the children of Israel to be released from your lies. We're supposed to be what? Holy. Holy. But guess what? The systems of the world don't allow us to be. They don't want us to be holy because our power will get up again. That's it. So they always encourage us to come in. The best of us, the best of our intellect and our spirit is mixed in to theirs right now. Even though everybody knows that we are a different people. Am I lying, brother? From Ethiopia all the way down to Daba in South Africa. They know when they've seen an African. Am I lying? Why they keep us in Africa if we're the same? Why they keep us in Africa if we're like them? Why don't the Muslim world allow African refugees to just stream up into Arabia? My, la my laptop died, I don't know why. There's a wall that they built in Israel in 19... Somebody remind me, 1976. If I'm wrong, correct me, please. They built the wall between Israel and Egypt. If I'm wrong, somebody still correct me. The wall, according to Egypt, to Israel, was to keep refugees out. Sorry, illegal immigrants to keep them out from coming in from Africa into Israel. And now, who is the illegal immigrant? It's the black people. The black people of the earth. Because we need to come back home. We need to come back to our land. So they have a wall, special wall, like the one they're building up in Mexico now to keep the Latinos outside of America. It belongs to them. Which belongs to them. Like the one they built in Australia. Oh, oh, oh. Let me to keep black people out of what belongs to them. But guess what? We're not upset. It's so that the Gentiles can what? Come in. They can what? Come in. They can what? Come in. They can come in. Logic. Wait, 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 wait. Logic says Let the Gentiles come in. That's why the black people are not bothered with whatever you do to them. You can't make us poverty because we're kings. It doesn't touch us. We're spiritual kings. Spiritual kings. Spiritual kings. We still love you anyway. And we mean that. We love you. But salvation is of what? The Yahudim. Salvation is of who? The Jew. Of Islam. It's Jew. Of Christianity. Yahudim. Of Roman Catholicism. Jew. Of democracy. Jew. Salvation is of us. Our Messiah is coming back. And he's black. Our Messiah is coming back and he's black. If he's not looking like me, and I know I'm white, then he look like this brother. <laughs> read, it, read it, my brother. Read it, man. And if he, if, he, if he don't look like this brother, then he look like my Ethiopian brother here. They're Israelites too. And you wait. Revelation 1 verse 14. Do you understand? Brother Taiwo, come forward here now.
Hey, bossy bear, Joel. You understand? You understand? You understand? A revelation, what? Huh? One for yes, 14. Please. No, read from one and uh, um, from 30. Read two and nine and three and nine first. I know? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah? Two and nine, three and nine first. Sorry, brother. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Revelation uh, chapter 2 verse 9. You speak loud now. Yeah, Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. Verse 9. I know that works. Now hold on. Who's speaking here? The Messiah. They say Jesus Christ, right? And they say Jesus was a Christian, right? Well, if Jesus was a Christian, why is he worried about what he's going to say next? Let hear the thing. I know thy works. I know thy works. And tribulation. And what? And tribulation. And refugiation. No, tribulation. Tribulation. Go on. And poverty. And what again? And poverty. Well, who's the only people with poverty in the world right now? Just the black people. Read on. But that are rich. But you are what? But that are rich. Oh, you're struggling. That are rich. You're just mingling. That are rich. You're mixing. That are rich. He says we are rich. Read on. And I know the blasphemy of them which says they are Jews. He says they're what? They are Jews. They're Christians. They are Jews. They're Muslims. They are Jews. One world religion. They are Jews. But they what? And are not. They are what? They are not. They are what? And not. But the synagogue of Satan. Synagogue of what? Of Satan. Of Islam. Of Satan. Of Christianity. Of Satan. Of multi multiracialism. Of Satan. Kingdom of Satan. It's in the book. Continue. We love everybody, but the scripture cannot be broken. Continue, continue. Read on. Revelation. Um, no, no, the same, the same, the same. Um, two and nine, you're still there. Read on. Yeah, two and nine. Ten, eleven, on. Okay. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Fear what? Fear none of those Fear things. Fear some of them. Fear none of those fear things. Islam. Fear none of those fear things. Christianity. Fear none of those things. Fear the Christian religion. Fear none of the. We are afraid not of none of them. Yeah. Which thou sh which thou shall suffer. Read on. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Hold on. Who will cast us in prison the again? The devil. The devil himself. And we look at his face every single day. Read on. That ye may be tried. That you may be what? That ye may be tried. We only being tried. That's why I say we are kings. It don't affect us. We're being sifted. Read on. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Tribulation for how long? Ten days. That's about ten thousand years according <laughs> to the Creator. But read on. I'm not doing that. I'm not Be thou faithful unto death. Be you what? Be thou faithful unto death. Convert to Islam. Be thou faithful unto death. Become a Christian. Be thou faithful unto death. Seek refuge in Buddhism. Be thou faithful unto death. Try Taoism or Confucius. Be thou faithful unto death. Be faithful unto what? Death. Go to three now. Go to three. Now read three and nine. Okay. Revelation three, verse uh, nine. Behold, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Start again and slowly. Behold, behold, I will make them of synagogue of Satan. Of the synagogue of Islam. Of Satan. Of Christianity. Of Satan. The synagogue of Satan. There is actually a synagogue of Satan. And it's not the Jewish people, it's not them. That's the confusion you have. The synagogue of Satan, we're sitting inside, inside it right now. What you call democracy. Democracy has come to give you that synagogue of Satan. I.e. the gathering of the, of, the, um, of, the, um, of the ministers of Satan. The word democracy alone, they can tell you it means whatever. That's fine. But here what it really is, is the demonstration of demons. That's why they say demons crazy. Demons are crazy. Read on. Um, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which says they are Jews. They say they are who? They say they are Jews. Go on. And are not. They are not. But they do lie. They do what? But do lie. They're speaking truth. But do lie. They don't know what they're doing. But do lie. They're just confused. But do lie. They lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. They will what? They will come and worship before thy feet. Do you actually believe that? Let's, shall we stress on that a little bit? They're actually going to come and worship before our feet. I don't need it. But the Creator says He will do it. I don't need you guys to worship at my feet. But the Creator says He's going to do it. 
freedom, brother. I would make them to come and worship at their feet before that worship before their feet and to know that I have loved thee. Hallelujah. I have loved who? I have loved thee. The whole world. Israelites. Muslims, Muhammad, Jesus, and Christians. I have loved Israelites. He's loved Israelites. We were taking him somewhere again. Chatawa, chatawa. Chatawa. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 1, verse 1 first, right? Uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Uh, the revelation of Jesus Christ, Amashiaki Yawashai, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. That was 2,000 years ago, right? Yeah. Okay, move on. And he sent his, and he sent and signified well, it by his angel unto his servant John. Unto his servant, an Israelite, right? John. Yeah. yeah. Okay, move on. Uh, verse 3, he said, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Well, you're blessed right now by listening to it. Move on. And keep those things which are written therein. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Don't move too fast. You're trying to, you're trying to you're cheat right, on me right, there. <laughs> Do that part again. Okay. Don't blessed, cheat on me. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed are you when you read it. And they that hear the words. And we who are hearing it. Of this prophecy. Of this prophecy. And keep those things. And do what? And keep those things. Throw them away. Keep those things. Loan them out. Keep those things. Get usury on them. Keep those things. We got to keep those things. Which are written therein. Which are written therein. For the time is at hand. The time is when? Is at hand. According to Islam, it's already passed. Is at hand. Israel has been discarded by, the, by God, didn't it? Well, Allah don't like Israelites anymore, innit? It's at hand. It's at hand. That book has changed. Yeah. Revelation chapter uh, chapter 1, verse uh, 14. This is from 13. Okay, from 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. In the midst of what? In the midst of the seven candlesticks. One Kaaba, reproductive stone. In the midst of the seven candlesticks. A phallus and a Christian cross. In the midst of the seven candlesticks. In the midst of seven candlesticks. Muhammad should have known that. In the midst of seven candlesticks. Candlesticks. What we're seeing outside the Kaaba ain't no candle. Move on. One like unto son of man. One like unto the son of man. John, John, who was beloved, beloved of Yeshua, Jesus. No, who you, no, he looks like say, but this guy, I have seen one. Look like son of man who are, who are walking before. And we're gonna read that, and we're gonna we're gonna back that up for what you said. Clothed, Move on. clothed with a garment. This person is clothed with a garment, right? Down to his foot. Down to what? His foot. To the Kaaba door. His foot. To his foot, isn't it? Okay, move on. And girth about his paps. Girth about his paps means his belly and in waist. Move on. With a golden girdle. With a what? With a golden girdle. With a golden belt, if you like. Move on. Yeah, go on, brother. His head. And his hairs Move on. were white like wool. Were white like wool. Now we'll explain that, but move on first. As white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes. And his eyes were as a flame of uh, uh, as a flame of fire. A flame of fire. Move on. And his feet. His feet like unto fine brass. His feet were like what? Unto fine brass. Move on. As if they burn in the furnace. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't be right. As if they burn in the furnace. As if they were dug out of the snow. As if they burn in the furnace. <laughs> as if they were brought from a bakery where they were just needing dough. In the furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. His feet were like what? As if they burned in a furnace. And what was that? Was burning in a furnace? Bronze or what was that? Brass, Brass burning. Brass burning in a, in a furnace. What color does that become? It becomes white, isn't it? No. Oh, yeah. are you yeah. sure? Yeah. It becomes white, isn't it? It becomes darker. Are oh, you sure? Yeah, are you sure about that? No, when you get burned in the sun, never mind the furnace. What happened to you, bro? You're black enough, yeah, aren't you? You're, you're, you're black enough. Yeah. Let's show you as the example. Yeah. When anything burns in the furnace, this is what it becomes like. That's why this brother still has it. Because he was cooked properly. I am already brass. You, this one's a fake one. It's a fake one. <laughs> and I'm a white man. But move on. Well, it's a white man too. Just like me. Oh, I thought I was quite dark. Huh? When you get burned, you will get that. You are red. Move red, on. Red. Read that finish. Um, it's feet like unto fine brass as if they burn in the furnace. As if they burn in the furnace. And his verse and his voice as the sound of many waters. Now, this is one little passage they don't pick up on which my Hebrew Israelite brothers don't pick up on they pick up on the color they don't pick up on the voice because they don't understand the voice not only that let's help you out again 
our, our Messiah is given an epithet called the Lion of the what? The jungle. Now what kind of voice does a lion have? That's where that passage comes from. When his voice is as a voice of many waters. Because when the lion speak right here, when the lion, the whole jungle protrude. The whole jungle understands. Yes. And that's what the king is, right? When the king speaks from Buckingham Palace, you can close your ears up in Manchester. You better hear it though. So kings are speaking right now. Kings are speaking right now. It says, Our Father who art who in heaven, hallowed be thy what? Name. Thy name. Let thy name be holy. Let thy what come? Thy kingdom. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy what be done? Thy will. Let thy will be done. Those are the first three things we have to follow. The image of the heavenly father in the Bible. Second, the image of the heavenly father in the Bible. Read on where you got uh, This is Daniel chapter 7 verse uh, 9. Thank you. Daniel. Uh, Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I'm going to bring that up. Thank you for... for, 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 for because the son looks like the father. Oh, hold on. The son looks like who? The father. Like the queen of England? No, the father. Like George Bush? The father. Like um, um, uh, The father. He looks like you and me. Yep. Move on. Uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld. I beheld. Till the throne was. What, one, 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 let me start again. Daniel 7 9. I beheld. Till the throne were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit. Hold on again. Who of days? The ancient of days. The ancient of days. We'll break that down later. Move on. The ancient of days did sit. His garment was white as snow. What's he got again? He's got another garment again. Yes. He's always wearing one, isn't he? He's not naked, is he? As the He's got a garment. Yeah. Move on. Read on. Uh, you need a body to wear a garment. Oh, you, you, excuse me? I thought it was your spirits only. Because there was, oh, no, there the was the Jibril garment, in the cave. The garment doesn't always so, actually mean a cave. It's all right. Israelites are going to answer that in a minute. It means it's whose, the work. Whose, whose, garment, whose garment was white as snow? His garment was what? Was white as snow. Twisted up with every nation. Was white as snow. And mixed into Christianity, Islam and Judaism. Was white as snow. It's holy. When and you see good. snow, you know it's separate from everything else. Move on. And his hair. His hair. Of his hair. The hair of his head. Not his hand and his chest. The hair of his hair. Of his head. Like the pure wool. Like pure wool. You understand? His throne like the fiery flame. Move and on. And his wheel as burning fire. Right. Now open nine and six of the same book. You understand? Nine and six. Really? Really? really. <laughs> I'm not Daniel chapter 9 verse 6 yeah start from start from 5 Daniel 9 5 um, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and we have done wickedly and we have rebelled even by departing for the precept and from the ju um, and from thy judgment. Six, neither have we hearkened unto the seventh, the prophets, which speak in the in the name of our kings. Right, move on. I, I, might have, I might have the wrong verse. And our princes. No, the other verse. Wait. And our princes. Move ten, try ten and five for me. Oh, ten and five. Yeah, ten yeah. Ten and five. Yeah. <laughs> That's Christ. Yeah. Ten and five to six. Right? Yeah. What we're doing right now is confirming identity, identity right now. Yeah. yeah? That's right. Move on. Uh, Dan Daniel chapter ten verse five. Right. Then I lifted up my eyes right. and looked and behold a certain man a certain what a certain man a jinn a certain man just an angel a certain man he's a man he's a man he's a real man like me and you maybe i'm going to our messiah was a real person deal with that deal with it because people dealing spiritually only deal with the physicality of move on a certain man clothed in linen clothed in linen move on whose loins were girded with fine gold of hupas oh the same belt again the same belt again isn't it yeah we read in revelation a golden belt it's the same belt he still got. there must be a reason why our brothers love gold so much why black people love gold so much isn't it there must be a reason only we wear it and make it look good. When we wear gold, gold looks good. Yes. When the other nations wear gold, they look good. 
<laughs> but when we wear gold, gold itself actually looks good. Move on. Six. I'm not saying His I'm body good. also was like bur beryl. His body was like beryl. That's one of the um, one of the preciousest stones you can find. Move on. And his face has the appearance of lightning. His face has the appearance of lightning. It's just scary to look at this black man. But move on. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Oh, we read that in Revelation too. Yeah. Move on. And his hand and his feet like in color. Oh, hold on. That can't, that can't be right. Yes. I didn't mention in color. Yeah, like in they're, color. They're racist in the Bible, isn't it? They're racist in the Bible. The most they're mentioning color. Why they put color in there? They're racist. Call up King James and tell him to stop that. We said it should be everybody, innit? Start that verse again. Okay. It's uh, Daniel 10 6. His body also was like barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his hands and his feet like in color to polish brass. His arms and his feet. I mean, who's writing that one? Who is it that wrote that one that wanted you to hear that clearly? So it's no ambiguity. No deceptions, no um, doubt. Call any Muslim brother now. They don't want Christ to be black. Call any religion. They, nobody wants Christ to be black. Even Christians, they don't want Christ to be black. They're happy for him to be the white Caucasian brother. But he's a black brother according to the book. That's right. Read that again, brother. So wait, hang on a second. So wait, yeah, right. And his hands and his feet like in color. Like in what? Like in color. Like in color. Right. To polish brass. To polish brass. Black, no? No, I can read it. My brother says something. Say something, brother. This is the translation. Yeah. Okay. You have to speak up. This translation, sorry, my boy. This translation is not correct. The original, the original breakdown of this is not um, brass, um, polished brass. It is burnished bronze. Burnished bronze, and I have the book. Darker, and I have the book in there. Which is darker. And, and guess what I did? Speak on. Speak on. Speak no, on. That's, that's educate. Educate. No, that's just the bit I wanted to say. No, speak on. You've, you've said. You've said good words. Yeah. This is what we do. Yeah. Right. It's just the, the European breakdown of scripture. They change things to lighter, like um, amber. Many scriptures say amber, say burning, um, oh gosh, amber or metal. That was the appearance. But the original is let, let, let type. When they say burnished brass or burned brass, this is what they're talking about. They're talking about what's that age? The, the age of metal is called what again? Bronze age. Huh? Bronze age. The bronze, the bronze age. age. Thank oh, you. Age. The Iron Age, the Bronze Age. There's a reason why those who deal with the carving of metal or shaping of metal are called what? Blacksmith. Hold on again. They're called what? Blacksmith. Oh no, you said whitesmith. Blacksmith. <laughs> There's a reason why they're called blacksmith. Okay, you, you're not allowed to say that. The metal is black. The knowledge is black. The worker himself is black. This is just an example of what kind of work you can find when they do the work. This you can find in Greece. That they have that head in Greece. Uh, yeah. Yeah? But we'll, we're still looking at black and white. They'll tell you when they see this stuff, they never seen perfect work like this before. You understand? Brother, bro, I'm just going to go to support what you say because you're, you're, comp you're comparing what the scripture is saying with it. With what we're seeing. Because this is what the Bible says. Read on. John 7 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures had said. As the word has said. As the scriptures has said. As the religion has said. As the scripture. Or as Islam has said. As scripture. As Christianity as said. As the scripture. As our scripture said. Not their scripture. We know. As said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of what? Of living water. Of, the, of water of Qumran. Of living water. Of living waters. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. You have to understand. I understand. Yeah. Was that it? <laughs> yeah.
there. Bless him. Oh, Sorry, I have to say cool. that. <laughs> now, this is, hold it, because so, you're the one who read it. Yeah. Show them what burnished bronze is. It's, thank you, bro. Thanks for reminding me we have that in there. Because whenever they want to start talking, so this is what the scripture says. Calabash, we're always coming. And just to let you know, I'm holding this book as evidence number one to ten. Yeah. When people say what we're saying is a lie. So you still come to the greatest nation. You come to the greatest nation on earth. And I beg you all my, all my brothers and sisters in the world. This is not because we're boasting. The greatest nation on the earth is this nation. Nigeria is the greatest nation on earth. We'll tell you why. It don't mean we're the only great people, it just means England, out of Scotland, England, Wales and where's the other one? The seat, Ali. The seat of, the, of the power is where? England. It can't be everywhere. I, I mean, come on, are we making sense? So we're not saying only Nigerians are great, but we're saying this is the greatest nation on the earth. Because this is the first time this going out, Mr. Camera, I beg you. This is the first time this going out. And I want a, peop a lot of people to log on to this and ask questions. Your Jesus Christ is a Nigerian. Oh, tell me, tell me. Like uh, just to prove what you just said now about Nigeria, it says uh, in the book of Acts 13, verse 1. Now, they were in the church. They were in the world. They were in the church. And you know, we don't do church in the congregation. Yeah. Read on. Now, they were in the church that was an, uh, an Antioch, a certain prophet. Uh, and teachers yeah. as Barnabas, Barnabas as Simon, Simeon, that was called Niger. Oh, it was called who? Niger. It was called Christian. Niger. It was called Whitey. Niger. It was called Alba. Niger. It was called Albion. Niger. It was called Albiona. Niger. It was called Wessex. Niger. Niger. Nigger. He was called Nigger. Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. Bible. Yes. That's where you get the word. But guess what? Just so we can expand on that. Because some people run away with half a little thing. He was only called Niger because the rest of us were like this. This is our color of the rest of us. We're fair. But we're black. He was called Niger because he was like his brother. Yeah, it was done. No, no, no. Oh, no, you're not black. Sorry. <laughs> come over here. No, 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 no. Jimmy don't want to come. It's too late. Look at them over. No, no, no. I know. Not the camera. Even though, I know. I'm no, well, just show your hand. Just show your hand. Put your hand in front of the camera. That's it. Now, this brother is black. That's why, even back home right now, We'll call him black. Yes. Blacks. Tum -tum. We, are, we are black too. We are black too, right? Okay. Right? But we're not black. That's how we look at each other. That's why every black woman, every black man likes to have a fairer woman. <laughs> Son Sons of Solomon. Sorry, sis, I had to pawn that. That wasn't meant for disrespect, you know. But what we're trying to say. Sons of Solomon. Oh, oh, oh well, I, we can go down that avenue all day long. I, we're not trying to tell these people, they don't disbelieve us. They don't. Or is anyone here disbelieved that we're the Israelites? Is there anyone here who disbelieves that we are the Israelites? You understand? I, I don't understand like how, how, how like the relationship between um, Nigeria and Israel. You don't? No. Okay. All right. When you see, okay, I understand you because you probably only know about the Israel up in the Middle East. Yeah. And I've heard theories, but I don't know, like, them. Um, because I, I don't know the history of it. I don't know how, like, they got from being in Israel to being in Nigeria. The, the, the way, oh, if, you, if you read Matthew 24. Right? Yeah, yeah. Before you read scripture to people, read history to them. Yeah, that's right. They can always relate to history. You understand? When you read scripture first, they think you're just preaching to them. It's like, ask, if I ask a Muslim about about um, how did Islam start. I know history. They will read the Quran to me. <laughs> but we want history first, isn't it? If I accept their story, then I'll take their book. But open, open page 14, page, yeah, page. 
just the page, 1440 something. Yeah, yeah. You, you read somewhere for me, yeah. for the title. Because yeah. we want to give him history and it's in the Bible. So you'll, you'll, you'll see what the thing is. Because, yeah, 14, yeah, 14, 1, 4, 4, 1. One, four, oh, sorry, 14, 41. So 14, 41. That's page. Yeah. It's not like 14, 41. There's no afterlife in this body. Definitely no afterlife. That's what I'm trying to say. You will answer it yourself. Let him continue. Let him continue. Let him continue. Uh, okay. Read from here. Read from here. Camera man, zoom in so you can see some of the things they're going to read. Yeah? That's 1443. This is, this is um, what they call um, explaining the history of the Bible, right there. Yeah? Under the expansion of Palestine, under the who? Under the Maccabees. Under the who? Under the Maccabees. The who? The Maccabees. Now read that, read that, read that. Um, and read it slow and, and, and hard. Commentary yeah. on the Bible itself. This is the Nelson. The Nelson Study Bible, uh, page uh, 1443, expansion of uh, Palestine under the Maccabees. Now Palestine was the annex of the Roman power, just in case you didn't know that, yeah? This, this is your answer. The Romans con controlled Palestine, you understand? So the Romans is the Roman Catholic power today. They controlled Palestine, they still do, and this is them over there. 1660, uh, 166 BC. Israel, Israel was plagued, was plunged. Israel was plunged into a garrulin period of religious persecution. Period of what? Persecution. Persecution. Religious persecution. Not Christianity. You heard it now. Israel, not Christianity. Make the distinction between the two. With the ascension of Antiochus IV, Antiochus the fourth, the fourth to the throne of the to the throne of the Seleucid kingdom in 175 BC. 175 before Christ. Read on. From Listen, you understand what right there? I can't see very well. No. From I'm, I'm saying sorry. What you guys are from circumcision to Sabbath. Uh -huh. Now hold on. Emphasize. It's alright, sorry. Right, right. You're not. You're not. You're seeing the right thing. Yeah. From circumcision. Explain what circumcision is and what it is in your country. Where you're from? Um, Let them hear. Biblically, um, we when you have quick, a, quick, quick, quick. Okay, quick. when you have a, when, when you have a child. Yeah, it takes eight days, then you, you circumcise their genitals. Are you so, still doing that in your oh, country? Of course, forever we have to do Before it. Before Christianity came, were well, we still not doing it? Yeah, we are, doing are we not still doing it right now? Thank you. Read on. Even after 70 AD. Yeah. Go on, read on. It. Um, from circumcision to Sabbath. From circumcision to Sabbath observance. Observance. Yeah. Many Jews custom. And Jews are called what in the first line? Israel. Israel. So you're still seeing it now? They're not the Jews in the country there. The real people of the nation are called Israelites. The Romans were persecuting us already. They stop us from circumcising our children. That's why even in this country right now, black people can't circumcise their children easily. Easily. You can't if you do it back home. Right? Read on. From the circumcision of Sabbath observance, many Jews' customs were outlawed. Our, our customs were what? Were outlawed. I.e. was made against the law. Absolutely. Can't do it anymore. That's what they say. Opposition to Antiochus. Antiochus. Antiochus policies centered around Mathathias' home in. Mathathias was one of our brothers, didn't it? Move on. Home in Modin, a town 17 miles northwest of Jerusalem. In 167 BC, Antiochus. Desecrated. Antiochus de desecrated, desecrated. desecrated the temple itself. He desecrated what? The temple itself. He desecrated the church. The, the temple itself. The church. The temple itself. The church. The temple itself. He desecrated a temple. Desecrate means to destroy. Not just destroy. He sacrificed feet. Not just to destroy. To, to defile. To defile. Yeah. To dehumanize. 
yeah, to make unholy, un unclean, desecrate. And let's check the desecration. Desecrated the temple itself by erecting a statue. Here the thing. Here the thing. By erecting a what? By erecting a statue, a statue of Zeus. Of who? Of Zeus. Of Jesus. Of Zeus. Jesus, isn't it? <laughs> That's the origin of Jesus. That's the origin of Jesus there. Because this Jesus is not an English word, if anything, it's a Latin word. And the Latin, you can find the word they call the Latinos, which is down South America today. And they don't pronounce Jesus as Jesus. How they pronounce it? Jesus. You with us right now? There we go again. Statue of Zeus. And did what? And sacrificing a pig. He sacrificed what? A pig. He sacrificed what? A pig. Now let's break that down again. Israelites, we have our national laws on what we can and cannot eat. Leviticus uh, chapter 11. In the book of Leviticus and so on, we know what we can eat. But if you want to make us upset, you go against our absolute spirit by doing the main thing we don't like. That is Israel. So we love all the clean meats. The people who, who desecrated the temple, what did they do? And sacrifice and sacrificing a pig. Now hold on. We just need to enlarge the education. Now, whose national meat is the pig? Oh, speak up, brother. Oh, speak up. Whose national meat is the pig? Speak up again, you do it. Like the, the Western world, European. The Western world. Yeah. Now, you understand why the Western world has a problem with the Eastern world. Because that what we used to be called before. The Eastern world. That's why they still call it today the middle. Well, it's not east of anywhere. But they call it the middle of the east. Because we were always the Orientals, the people from the east. Africans did not start in Africa. In fact, the whole of Israel is still Africa, technically. The whole of Israel is still Africa, technically. It's not East Africa. Because Egypt is on the same place. It's Africa. The, the Suez the sue Canal was, was created just to, uh, to call it Middle East, but there's no Middle East. There's nothing called Middle East. Then if there's, there's Middle South, and we're the other, so we have Middle South. Then if there is Middle East, then you need to have Middle North, Middle, middle South, South and West. But, but this is how they've that's lied. The, that's not the way cutting the world. This is how they've lied to cover up our tracks, Israelite tracks, so people don't know who was who anymore. It's biblical as well. It's biblical. We'll lose our inheritance. We'll lose our what? Our inheritance. Who's got it now? The, the fake Jews. Uh, read for me. Um, Jeremiah. Yes, no, 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 no. Let's just come closer to the Christians. Um, no, I'm not sure if it's Ephesians. Ephesians. Try Ephesians 1 or 2. Uh, it says, you were once part of the commonwealth. Uh, uh, Ephesians, yeah? yeah? All right, read that for us, brother. And see the funny thing right now. We'll see how everything turned around. Watch it. Watch it. I think somewhere too there, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I read it for Ephesians 2, so you say we're talking about common ones. Yeah. And, and this is how we'll see who the, where the Christians should be. Even when they say everybody's welcome to, the, to God. We don't mind, but guess what they should be? You have a look again. Yeah, I will, I will start from Ephesians 2, I will start from 11 instead of 12. Yeah, yeah. But 12 All is right. what we, we need. Start from, start from upper there, 7, 4, 5, 6. Just so people can get a bit more context. You okay, know? Yeah? so to get a context. So I will yeah. start from five. Ephesians, five, uh, Ephesians two. chapter 2, verse 5. Right. Even when we were dead in sin. We were what? We were dead in sin. We were dead in sin. This is Israel first, right? Read on. Has quickened us together. Has quickened us together, yeah? Has quickened us together with Christ. With Christ. By grace, ye are saved. By grace are we saved now. Read on. Six. And, and had raised us up together. Raised us up together. And made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Amashiaki Yawashai, which means right. Jesus Christ. Right, move on. <clears throat> uh, that, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in the kindness towards, his, towards us through Christ. 
Now, who is the us again? Israel. Israel. Christians. He's talking about Israel. No, it's Christians. He's talking about Israel. No, it's Christians, brother. It's Muslims, actually. This is uh, Ephesians 1 1. It says, Paul, an apostle of Christ, by, by the will of God to the saints. The saints. Which are at Ephesus. The saints are in Ephesus. Just the same way we're up here in Hyde Park Corner right now. And to the faithful of Christ, the faithful Amashiach, of Christ. our child. He only had one faithful. Who were they? Israel, right? Alright, move on back to your original verse. Um, Coming to that commonwealth thing. Okay. Let me just go straight to the uh, to eleven. Wherefore remember, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles, being in time past, you were what Gentiles, Gentiles in the flesh, cast away from our nation, right? Move on, Gentiles in the flesh, right? Who are called uncircumcised? When they were called what? Uncircumcised. Now what, what did we just say about circumcision when we were dealing with it? It was outlawed. It was outlawed, and when we are in the West, in the so-called West. They won't allow us to circumcise anymore. They don't want us to think, why are you doing that? Why are you cutting your boy's dick off? Why? To them it makes no sense. But to the creator, it's everything to him. Read on. Gentiles in the flesh. Gentiles in the flesh. Called uncircumcised. They were called uncircumcised. Uh, uh, who are called uncircumcision by yep. by that which is called the, the circumcision, circumcision, right? In the flesh. In the flesh, yeah. Made by hands. Made by hands. That at the time you were without Christ. You were without Christ at a certain time. We don't. Being alien. Being alien from the commonwealth of Israel. Commonwealth of who? Of Israel. Now, people, please put that word in your head. Commonwealth of of Israel. So, repeat it one more time. Commonwealth. Commonwealth of Israel. Now the commonwealth means common wealth. Eh? That is, what belongs to one Israelite belongs to all Israelites. You understand? But today, what belongs to all Israelites is taken over by the other nations right now, right? That's number one. Number two is, we have a different commonwealth on the earth today. Yeah? We have a different commonwealth on the earth today. And that commonwealth is headed by who? By Britain. By the who? And who is the who? Is the, who? By the queen. Our queen. That commonwealth is now headed by the United Kingdom. Yes. Of a different nation. Not of Israel. Not of Israel anymore. That's where they got their commonwealth and, from. And how can and how can other nations be a commonwealth to, to British when they when, when they kill them out of the country state? We, 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 oh, 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 we're, we're, we're not in the beginning, in the foundations of the commonwealth, and I can't remember certain data data, the idea was that we had a brotherhood of the world. You understand? So we can share things, just like the European Union. But unfortunately, what it's become is that all the wealth is now held by one person. We have the, like, like one Muslim brother said one day, he said the commonwealth is now, you lot have the common, like Clapham common, yeah? The common being a park, you don't go and sit down there and waste your time. While they have all the what? All the wealth. <laughs> You can keep the common, yes. we'll keep the gold. <laughs> so Prince William, my brother, and Prince Harry, my son, they have all the wealth. And they're smart. And me and you, we have the what? We have the park, innit? And we still need to pay to get in Hyde Park Corner. I mean... As it's, strangers... It's, uh, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, read it, my brother. Now, Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth of Israel. Commonwealth of Israel. And strangers from the covenant of promise. Now, this is deep now. You were strangers to the covenant of what? Of promise. Now, who does that apply to today? Black people. We are the people of the covenant. Yes. The people who don't like us are strangers to us. But we have the what? The promise. The promise of the kingdom. The promise is to us. You look, you're hearing the thing. But don't forget on this earthly kingdom right now, the promise is the other way around. God, 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 Roman 9. Before you run there, the promise is in the other way around. We have to come to Great Britain, to America, to get the promise, isn't it? The American. Dream. Dream. We need to leave Africa, Bangladesh, and look, you Bangladesh Muslims, you're all Israelites. 
you Pakistani, Afghanistans, and so on, you all Israelites, come back home to the book. Just to quickly mention something, uh, as you know, we read uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. It says, Thou art rich, uh, but we are rich because of the promise of the kingdom of heaven. You can see how it's all linked up. If the, if the book was lying, you would only find it on one page. But no, everywhere you go, it confirms each other. But you wrote Roman 9. Roman 9. That, that a rich was in the bracket. So it's telling us that the kingdom that was made, uh, the covenant that was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, it continues to today. Forever. Uh, Roman uh, chapter 9. Seven verse one. Roman chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. I do what not? I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. I ain't preaching religion. Move on. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ. For? From Christ. For? For my brethren. My what again? My brethren. My fellow um, religion. My brethren. My brethren. My kinsmen. My kinsmen. According to the flesh. According to what? According to the flesh. That's the belief. According to the flesh. That's to religion. According to the flesh. To immigration. According to the flesh. To the flesh. Who are Israelites. Oh, then who? Who are Israelites. They're Ishmaelites. Israelites. They're Muslim lights. Yasharala. They're Christian lights. Israelites. They're Israelites. Move on. To whom pertained the adoption? To who pertained what? To who pertained the adoption? The what again? The adoption. The adoption or rejection? The adoption. The dismissal. The adoption. The refusion. The adoption. The refutation. The adoption. We've been adopted. And Move the on. glory. And the what? And the glory. The disglory. And the glory. The shame. And the glory. The embarrassment. And the glory. The, 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 the glory. And the covenant. And the what? And the covenant. And the religion. And the covenant. And the mistake. And the covenant. And the confusion. And the covenant. No, we know what we have, isn't it? And the covenant. We know what we have. And the covenant. The covenant is the agreement. And it's it. not going to be broken. It's That's still it. with us. And the That's giving. why we're standing here right now. That's it. Move on. And the giving on the and the giving of the law. Quran. And the giving of the law. What? The Quran. And the giving of the law. Of Christianity. And the giving of the law. Of a Christian seminary. And the giving of the law. Whose law? The law of the most high. Alright, they say it's not necessary. And the service. And the service of God. Of the Creator. And the service of God. Of the Creator, right? And the promises. And the promises. Again. Therein. Can't you know? Just finish it. Who, whose are the fathers? Whose are the fathers? And of the of whom as concerning the flesh as Christ because, came. Who came again? Christ came. Muhammad came. Christ came. Uh John Smith came. Christ came. In fact, uh, what's the other brother's name? Christ <laughs> came. J Smith came. Christ came. Uh, Read on. I don't want who, to get upset. Whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. Who is all who is over all? Who is over what? Who is over all? Over a few things. Over all. Only one country. Over all. Only over Islam. Over all. It's over all. You got to come back here to listen to this truth. Move on. God bless it forever. For a man. Now listen. Where is the other scriptures? End which of story. Says, Has Israel been cast away? Okay, Roman 11. Roman 11. Finish it since you're on that one. Okay. Roman Let's 11. have a look. Because we're answering okay. our brothers in Islam. Without them being here, they can hear us because you can come and hear that Israel ain't being cast away. We're still here. The same way, the same way Ishmael has not been cast away. <laughs> Ishmael hasn't been cast away, have they? But Israel hasn't been cast away either. We're still here. You do your job and we do what? We do ours. We don't. Uh, Romans 11. Romans 11. I say then. I say then. Had God cast away his people? Had God cast away his religion? Has, has God cast away his people? Has he cast away his belief? His people? His what? His people. His people. That's deep. God forbid. Even, he's, he, even he forbid that. Yes. <laughs> For I also, I am an Israelite. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, are you lying to us? 
Are you lying to us? For I also, I am an Israelite. I'm a Christian. I'm an Israelite. I'm a Muslim. I'm an Israelite. I'm, I'm a Hindu. I am an Israelite. I'm, I'm a Buddha. I am an Israelite. Paul is saying that he's a what? I am an Israelite. Why do the Muslims like to say Paul founded Christianity? He's saying he's a what? He's a I am an he's Israelite. A Israelite. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the tribe of, of Benjamin. Benjamin. The tribe of Benjamin. God has also cast away. Um, God has not. Of the seed of. Okay. I say then, as God cast away his people, God forbid. He forbid that. For I also I am an Israelite. We're Israelites. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. God had not cast away his people. Never. Which he for which he foreknew. Which he did what? Which he foreknew. Which he started to know today. No, which he foreknew. Which he wants to know tomorrow. Which he foreknew. Only when he's when we're in heaven. Which he foreknew. He knew us when? From the beginning, he knew us already. Move on. What ye not? What ye not? What the scripture has said? Don't you know what the scripture had said? Of Elias. Of Elias. Of Elijah. How, how he how he make it intercession, intercession right? to God against Israel, saying, saying Lord, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, thy prophets, and dig down their altars, thy altars yeah. and I am left alone by myself, really. and they seek my life, and they seek my life. But what, what the Creator what say? But, but what said the what said the answer of God unto high. him? Go on. I have reserved to myself. What? Seven. I have reserved to myself right. seven thousand men that have not what? Who have not bowed the knees. They do what? Who have not bowed the knees. Hold on, let's look for the camera. They don't do what? Who have not bowed the they knees. They don't bow the knees. They don't do what? Who have not bowed the They're knees. They're not bowing the knees. Who have not bowed the knees to, to the image of Baal. That's Allah there again. That's right. They have not bowed the knees to, to the go image worship of Baal. Allah. There it is. And if anybody have a doubt, because I know my Muslim brothers listening, we'll show you where Allah is being worshipped in the Bible. We'll show you that Allah is the wrong power for us to worship. It's in the book. We're only waiting for you to come. Because you're hearing our voices, but you can't come. We know you hear us, but they can't come, can they? When we gone home, then they'll, be, then they'll come here. The 7,000 have not done what? Have not bowed the knee. That's where that their prayer style comes from. To the image of Baal. They bow their knee like a camel. Have you noticed how it... Hold this for me, brother. Have you noticed that it's death they worship? Because when we're dead in the coffin, how do they put people in the coffin? You remember? Yeah, they pull it up like this. But where else do we find that stance? of this prayer in Egypt when they fold the chest like that that's an Egyptian prayer and then they bow the knee like by stick go to first Timothy chapter chapter one chapter two verse verse eight. it's all in there you just need to piece it together it's all in there all of it first Timothy chapter two verse eight. listen to hold this. on <coughs> before you go brother did we answer your question um, sort of. Right. Right. Yeah, but I think it's like you've got people from different countries that claim like a descendancy back to Israel. Like you've got people in East Africa, you've got people in like West Africa, and like people in like. There's um, only one. Okay, sorry. I don't want. I'm not trying to no, cut fine. you off. Then Just you've got to, people like in the yeah. Americas and the Caribbean. They say they trace their lineage back to um, Israel. Let me tell you one important thing. Also for camera, one important thing is. There's our brothers in the USA and, and some other greater places who are teaching that there's the 12 tribe breakdown of Israel and it only encompasses, in their view, encompasses America, South America and that's totally evil. It's totally evil because you also like to quote scripture that tells you that Israel is scattered into what? All nations. Into all nations of the earth. So this brother is bringing up that topic right now. And your teaching stops people like this from receiving truth. You understand? But what you're saying cannot only be determined anymore. 
Yeah, yeah, Brother, yeah. sorry. Yes, I'm, 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 yeah, it's by this way. We're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go there. This, the, the, the Israelites, that's why you had Paul speak in Romans 9. He says, in the flesh, my brethren in the flesh are Israelites. That is, that's, we know we're the same nation. You understand? Because we see each other. We know we're the same nation. We know by seeing, by visibility. You understand? And you know who is not your nation by visibility. So if you see 1,000 Chinese soldiers come now, you know they're not of this nation. You just know that. You know that, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going, guys? When you see Afghanistan soldiers coming, you know they're not from here. You can tell. That's what Paul is saying. But our creator, besides the fact that he validates our nation physically, because we can't disappear, he only truly validates us by what? By spirit. By what? By spirit. By spirit. And what is that spirit? That spirit is that spirit that Abraham had. Yeah. By spirit, like the spirit that Abraham had. Because Abraham was not an Israelite, but he was the first Israelite. Because if you're not something, you can't actually bring the same thing forth, can you? If you see a tree, but you've never seen any fruit on the tree, you'll soon find out what kind of tree it was. By their fruit you shall know them. But when you don't see the fruit, you can't call the tree that is the father of Israel, can you? But now you see the Israelites today, so you know Abraham was their father. So he by default was a what? He was an Israelite. But the Creator also says, my firstborn is what? Is Israel. Israel is my firstborn. But we only we know that he only has one son anyway. So it could it, that same spirit. So when you take on that same spirit, the spirit, the book is for you. When you take up the spirit of Christianity, what do you become? Christian. You become a Christian, isn't it? When you take up the spirit of Islam, you become a what? You become a Muslim. They, they welcome you, you Shahada. Oh. <laughs> Just right there, right then, right there. They won't ask you any more questions. Isn't it? Read up for us if you got uh, something. To destroy the, to destroy the doctrine of uh, you know going down the new and praying to the Lord. Oh, read for this, us, this, brother. This, this, this is our, our, our creator. So we must worship him. Continue. This is how we must worship. Uh, First Timothy chapter two, verse eight. Are we therefore that men pray everywhere? Everywhere. We pray everywhere. Lifting up holy hands. Lift hold up. on. Hold on. Bending at the knee. Lifting up holy hands. Folding it over your Lifting chest. Lifting up holy hands. Rolling over like a camel to Lifting die. Lifting up holy hands. Oh, lift, lift up the hands. If he's up in this, if he's up in the heavens, you can't be looking to the ground. Lift the hands to the heavens. Ah, move on, brother. Without wrath and doubting. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it.